Hello everyone, welcome back to 23 Days of Hope. This is day number 18. My name is Sherry Weary. I am the CEO, founder, and empowerment strategist of Weary Consultations, LLC. I'm a speaker and an author, and I specialize in empowering women and youth to rise from their pain in order to live inspired and transform lives. So I am so excited that my birthday is next week, and I will make sure to give you details at the end of this video as far as how we are going to celebrate together. And to give you the invitation to the party. So very excited about that. All right, so the topic for today is hope to give. And in this video, I really want to talk about how we all have something to give. And I know that this season, this time that we are in, is that there are some people who are really struggling um, because of, you know, the pandemic. A lot of people are out of work and are not able to go to work because of stay-at-home orders and not being part of an industry that is considered essential. And so you have people from a financial perspective that, you know, may be struggling. And then there are some states where the unemployment uh, benefits is taking a little bit longer just to be processed because so many people are applying. And so, again, from a financial perspective, it can be really hard to think about giving to others when you may be in need yourself. And I don't want to just talk about it from a financial perspective, but I also don't want to leave that out because there are some people where from a financial perspective, they're totally okay. You know, they either are essential workers that are continuing to be paid or they work for companies that are continuing to pay their workers even or their employees despite the fact that they are not coming into the office each and every day like they did prior to the pandemic. And then you have other people who just have other means. And so if you are one of those individuals, I strongly encourage you to give um, financially to your community, to organizations that are in need. You know, there's tons of charity organizations all over this country and all over the world as well that you can definitely be a part of. So I strongly encourage you to do that. But outside of even giving financially, there are other ways that we can give back to others. We can give back to others of our time. And Again, depending on where you are in this whole situation, your time may be a lot more free or maybe you find yourself in a situation where you have less time because you're working and trying to school others as well. But if you have more time of your hands, just taking the time to reach out and to call someone or send a quick message or email or even send a letter. I mean, that's like an outdated, um, in some respects, outdated method of communication. But I think it's really cool to get letters and, and email, especially since for my birthday, I'm going to be getting cards, but I've digressed. <laughs> but you can give of your time, whether it's just calling someone going to do grocery shopping, you know, for someone where you can drop off again, still keeping social distancing standards in place, but you can go and grocery shop on behalf of someone and drop it off, you know, at their home. And you can also just let someone know that you really care about them, that you're thinking about them, that they are in your thoughts. And especially individuals who are older, who may not have anyone in a home or even single people who may be living alone, just reaching out just to see how they're doing is definitely a way that you can give. And the only thing it's going to cost is just your time. There's other ways that you can give as well when it comes to your talents and resources. One of the things that you know we see people uh, doing right now is being really creative and how they are taking care of their own needs and also being a resource to those people who are in their community and for their loved ones and for their family as well. And so let's say if you're an artist, you know, creating things during this time and, you know, offering it for sale or, you know, posting snippets on social media. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoy during this time is the artists who have given of their time freely. You know, those individuals who have done free concerts on social medias, offered dance classes, for instance, Debbie Allen, uh, for the producers who've done, you know, battles, you know, as well on social media, and you are having just a nice little party from your home, the comfort of your home. And just so many other people during this time who've just provided opportunities for people to have access to still have some thing to look for uh, look forward to you know during a day and to have a sense of or some semblance of their normal routine like you have exercise instructors who are trainers who have also been providing free you know workshops when it comes to hit trainings and ballet and jazz and just Tons of other things has been available. And so here it is, you have these individuals giving it, even though they may have their own needs themselves, especially trainers, you know, again, they're part of an industry that's really been affected like so many other industries. 
but yet and still in their place of need is that they found a way to be able to give back to others. And ultimately, that's really what I want to encourage everyone to consider. Even the Bible talks about that if you give, that it will be given back to you, shaken down, pressed down, and rolling over. And so in this moment, while yes, there are definitely needs that you should be taking care of and you know trying to find ways to meet those needs, is that also find a way to give back to others as well. And it's not always about the money. Sometimes it's just about compassion and time and your heart and your creativity and whatever innovation that comes out of this time as well. So give back to someone today and I promise you, you will not regret it um, because again, you're putting in your, yourself in a position to bless others and to also be blessed in return. So that is all that I have for today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for day number 19 of 23 Days of Hope. For day number 23, which is my actual birthday, we are going to be culminating this whole series of 23 Days of Hope by partnering with Sharia Farmer, who is the founder and executive director of the RS Counseling and Wellness Center. I actually do some work with them um, there as well. And so Sharia has been hosting these virtual support groups for the past few weeks in order to give individuals uh, some resources and tips to be able to navigate this time, um, you know, for individuals who are just needing just that extra support. Because again, it, it is honestly, it can be a very stressful time because of the fact that there are so many things that are uncertain. And it just... Sharia definitely wants to make sure that she is providing that resource. So you can definitely check her out um, on social media to be a part of those weekly groups. Um, you know, especially if you're not able to either um, afford services to meet with a therapist one on one. You know, this is a way for you to still get some much needed support and to get great information, you know, as well from the staff of, in addition to Sharia, just the other staff at the center. So we're going to be doing a virtual group, support group, and we'll be joining with her um, on Thursday, April 23rd at 4 p.m. It is free. The workshops each week are, um, are free. And so I will be having the information for you to register um, for that next week. So you will still need to register in order to be part of it so that you can get the link to be able to log in and be able to see us live, you know, providing some great information. You'll be able to ask questions and things of that nature as well. So make sure that you accept the invite because once I post a link, that is my invitation to you to come and join me for my virtual birthday party on Thursday, the 23rd at 4 p.m. So that is all that I have as far as announcements. Uh, if you would like to connect with me, you can always check out my website at sherryweary.com. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at sherry underscore weary. And you can like my Facebook business page at sherry c weary. All right, take care. Have a great day, great evening whenever you're watching this. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right, bye.